y'all. So I gotta fix the wires on the coolant reservoir right here. So this is what I got. I got the the shrink tubing and I got the butt connectors. Problem is I was trying to get the this piece, disconnect this piece, and I broke it. So I'm not sure I'm gonna I'm gonna get it off now. Not sure how I'm gonna get it, but as you see the wire right there needs to connect back to this piece. Issue is I'm gonna have to get more wire because you see how short this piece is right there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. That piece is mad short, so I need them to connect. So I'm gonna have to figure it out, but um. Good morning, everybody. How everybody doing? Sorry about the wind, but it's windy out here. So, I finally got all my relays. Um, I don't put a baby in, so I'm in here. There was a wasp nest in here too. We had to get that out. But I uh, already opened two of them. These two came yesterday. These two came today, so I to opened them. But I got um, I got the 373, and then we got the. This one is. Hang on. And then I have my. 646 I got these this is the old 373 right here you can see it's pretty shot compared to the new one this is the new 373 compared to the old one as you can see looks a whole lot better look at that this is how you know it got wet and it you can see the erosion on there. This one. Compared to this one. This one looks Decided like Decided to get the 646s. Let me see if you can zoom in there. The 646 instead of, instead of these ones. This is the original ones that was in there. The 395. There was two 395s in there. And I saw on a blog that the 646s were better, the more power. So I got those instead of the 343s. But as you can see, take a look, they're the same size. Let's see here. Sorry, I got it. It's weird trying to turn my hand at an angle. They're the same size. And they're both. I got these off of eBay. This is original Audi Volkswagen relay as well. But you can see how much better the new one looks than the old one, which is all dirty and eroded, but it's different. Do you see the Audi Volkswagen smaller and the old one is bigger? But um, this is a 12, this is 12V, and this one says 4HO on it. So it's probably these have a car better than the other ones. Matter of fact, there's about everything right there. I don't want my camera. There you go, a little bit not focusing compared to this one. So I'm putting the ones in. And this is the 0192 relay. You see, it's so much rust built up on the erosion. It just looks like crap. And I'm going to show you the new one. Here is the 219, the new one. So, as you can see the difference. This is um, original. This is a, um, I wanted to, I didn't want to get bootleg ones and then they like strip quickly. So, I got all my relays Volkswagen, Audi. Audi Volkswagen, whichever one I say. So, this is the new one. And let's compare it to uh, almost with the old, uh, the new relay. So, so hopefully this this right here doesn't happen to the new one. So I'm gonna get these installed, you guys. But still, there's always something that hold us up in this car. So if it will crack. We had to. Woo, it is really windy out here. I'm sorry if y'all can't hear me. We had to. Um, this piece was stuck, and I broke the the clip piece out. So we end up having to break this um, piece right here. This piece 
as you see it's broken the heck we end up having to break it out of here from um in here and it connected these two wires right here so now i have to find another piece like this or get a whole new wire but it's probably easier if i could just get this piece and then connect it back uh, after we wire it back in to this and then connect it back in there so then hopefully at that point we'll be good to go so that's the update on audi so far so we're gonna get these relays in and i'll be back to you guys after i go have me a coffee okay you guys so i'm gonna unhook these batteries batteries i'm gonna hook this battery i'm gonna hook the, this part first the negative while i'm plugging the wires because i'm not trying to get shot so i should just be fine just unhooking the negative but just to be safe i thought it were already unhooked i'm gonna unhook the positive as well so i don't like to keep unhooking the battery over and over and over again not really good i just have one This don't want to come off. You want to show off, huh? All right, so we got the battery on a hook, so better safe than sorry. Okay, so we're gonna put the relays in now. We're just gonna set this computer aside and just gonna flip this one up right here. Hopefully, I don't break any more wires. All right, so when they were in, it was the 343 right here. The 373, the 219, and then on the end, um, it was uh, uh, the heck was it? I think I said 343, but uh, where is the ones I need? Yeah, it was a 340, 343, but instead now it's going to be the 646. So, so we're going to put the 646. In and I'm about to mess up my 219. I need not good. All right, let's see if we can get these in here. Well, I want to clean that out. Eventually, I'm at the place that you guys see all that rust. I'm gonna have to get some. I don't know what I could clean that out with because that just looks gonna try the relays for now and then maybe pull them back out and then clean it afterwards. But um, I'm probably not gonna do much with the cooling tank not being connected fully so let's go here and just put them in all right so you gotta turn around the difference is they don't have the little hot piece on it like the 343 so um, let's hope they fit uh oh nope there it goes it don't seem like it's right though it's in there 373 right here and I noticed before the guy had the 373, he had it upside down when he had it in here. So, let's get the 373 in there. All right, so that's in there. I don't like how, see that, how that's loose? I don't like that, that that's loose. I might eventually have to end up maybe replacing this, but if it works, I'm not gonna replace it for what I got the car for. I got the car pretty freaking cheap this one in there this one's the hardest because it's so bad it's deep back there let's see let's get that in there oh that didn't sound good hope i didn't break anything so this is in all right so now we gotta get the other 646 one and put it in <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I gotta get this piece. Alright, we'll put all the boxes back for right now. Put the computer boxes back. I'm gonna have to find something where water can't get down in here because I can't have my new relays getting messed up or getting fried. So let's get this down in here. Uh oh, the correct way. It's 
wanting to act up, y'all. All right, hang on. I'm gonna get this in here. I'm using one hand. All right, you guys. So we got the fuses in. We got the kit back in. We got the cover back on. So I'm gonna go to like Advanced Auto Zone or get on the app see if I can find a, a piece for under here. And um, I'm so anxious to actually crank it, but I don't want to without that being connected. So, okay, you guys, so it's dark now. I ended up, um, I ended up having to order the coolant reservoir tank sensor for this so I can connect everything back. These two pieces of wire right here. I'll show you guys what I ordered. Um, I'll put it in the video. But uh, I ordered those. So, so far right now, that is the missing link right there. But I will try to start it. Just a quick second. Um, just to see what happens. Don't really want to do it without having that. But I'm going to try real quick. So we're going to stick the key in. Alright, we're gonna try it real quick one time. Of course all the lights are still on. Alright, ready? Let's try this one more time. So here we go. Ooh. All right, we're not gonna do too much. When the time is not off, I haven't checked it, but that'll be the next thing I'll check. Looks a little rusty down in there. Looks really bad down in there a little bit. So hopefully the time is not off, but uh, we'll find out. But if you haven't already, um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next video.